dear students in this section we are going to discuss one very important concept of the mechanics that is conservation of linear momentum for system of particles in this illustration it is given a projectile is launched at angle theta naught this projectile is launched with velocity v naught that is the initial velocity of the projectile is v naught and it is projected at angle theta naught at the highest point of its path that means at this position it explodes into two parts of the masses of ratio 1 is to 3 the lighter part retraces its path find the velocity of the heavier part just after explosion okay this is the problem now let us analyze the situation this projectile is projected with initial velocity v naught at angle theta naught we know in case of the projectile the horizontal component of the velocity remain constant always that means at the highest point the velocity of the projectile should be equal to v naught cos theta naught okay so let us make the diagram for this situation initially this particle just before explosion should have the velocity v naught cos theta naught right m is the mass of the projectile now what happened at this point is explode into two parts the ratio of the masses is 1 is to 3 let us assume mass of the lighter part is m naught and mass of the heavier part is 3 m naught that means m naught should be equal to m by 4 and heavier mass 3 m naught should be equal to 3 m by 4 let us assume initially these are having the mass m naught and 3 m naught okay so the lighter mass of mass m naught retrace its path that means the velocity of this lighter part should be equal to velocity of the projectile at the highest point highest position we know the velocity at the highest position is v naught cos theta naught that means velocity of the lighter part just after explosion should be equal to v naught cos theta naught but in the leftward direction now let us analyze the heavier part heavier part is having mass say 3 m naught this velocity is unknown so we can assume the unknown direction is in the rightward direction and let us consider this velocity is having magnitude v so this is the situation just after explosion okay and we know at the topmost point if we consider this object as a system in the horizontal direction there is no external force acting on the system right that means the linear momentum of the system should be conserved linear momentum just before explosion and just after explosion should be equal so let us write the linear momentum of the projectile just before explosion and let us consider this direction as a positive direction rightward direction so linear momentum just before explosion should be equal to m multiplied by v naught cos theta naught this is the p initial now let us write the linear momentum of the system of the particle now we have two particles just after explosion this is equal to minus m naught multiplied by v naught cos theta naught plus 3 m naught multiplied by v v is unknown okay and we know this value is m by 4 and this value is 3 m by 4 so let us apply the conservation of linear momentum of the system of the particles just before and just after explosion this linear momentum should be equal to this linear momentum so let us conserve the linear momentum principle in the horizontal direction this is the initial linear momentum just before explosion this is a linear momentum just after explosion so let us substitute the masses m by 4 and 3 m by 4 you can observe this m this m and this m will get cancelled now we can find the value this is equal to 3 by 4 v and this is equal to 1 by 4 v naught cos theta naught and this is v naught cos theta naught that means we can write 3 by 4 v 
equal to 5 by 4 v naught cos theta naught. Okay. Now, we can get the value of v from this equation. So, let us write the value of the velocity of the heavier particle just after collision is 5 by 3 v naught cos theta naught. This is the required value. 